What up, y'all? Roach back, Big Waldowski style. We got a tall boy today. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we. Just a couple little uh, quicks. Obviously, this doesn't have my chinos in it because it is far too small. So I don't know what's going on with those. Maybe I uh, didn't order. Maybe it was a figment of my imagination. I have been going ham on uh, eBay and Poshmark or whatever. I don't know, man. I've, I I got an affinity for these uh, pre-pleat flannels. <laughs> pre-pleat flannels. Now, I clearly didn't get enough sleep last night. Maybe I had a couple too many tall of these. Or you know what I'm saying? I don't got my earpiece. I don't got my glasses. Can't even there see the screen. I don't know if I should get off into these new boys or into this. You know what? We're going to get right off into these new boys. Because I'm betting that it is just the, uh, when, when I say just, I mean, this is that uh, Slayer collaboration, which is pretty dope to me. Um, I was big into hair metal and heavy metal um, around the time. You know, these guys were reaching their peak popularity. You know, I was out there Molly Cruz out, man, shouting at the devil and shit. Wow, these guys was raining blood. Oh yeah, that's exactly. Oh, yeah. Let me pack them right in there, didn't they? And once again, wreck oh, man. So we put it. Okay, so here's one. This another red release. Let me set this light so it's. Let me just, oh, that ain't darkening me right up. Let me see. Let me turn it back on. We gotta do something about it. What? Bop. Whoa, orange. Uh, eh, natural. Turn it down some. Clicky, clicky, clicky. As bad as the damn uh, bag rattle. So, Slayer doesn't do a whole hell of a lot of co collaboration, collaborating with folks. Ah, get that over there. Let me tear this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I mean, other than a wrecked ass sticker. You know, they clearly didn't give two shits about. Hey, look at that. Man, just creased out. These was Air Force Ones. Scuff them the fuck up your whole night. All right, let's pull these. And these little fucking puppy cookies. I mean, it's cool, man, when you're keeping them brand new in the bag. But like I said, dude, I wear these. Ah. Let's see what we got. Oh, another red and black. I mean, it makes sense for Slayer, but there has been a lot of red and black lately, man. Um, this is pretty dope, though. I mean, it looks a lot like, I don't know, man. Oh, shit. It looks a lot like the red line or the gridlock, but I dig, you know, the, the pentagram tag and what do we got here I will I'll try to uh I can't see worth this shit without my glasses so you're gonna have to bear with me out here folks um it does have the black snaps though which is I mean I, you'll hear me say it over over and over again the snaps are dope uh, having the red and black tag on the red and black shirt matching and being small not all big and stupid best dope uh let's see what we got for the bottom tag here okay and again red and black matching right up with the shirt man that's uh let's see what we got for the uh buttons what do they say shit i can't even see it man it'd be like me holding it up on the videos i'm oh man i should smoke for my cataracts but it would really wind up just turning into paranoia so we're gonna get in here Something like so. Now on the screen, I can see that they do say take some flannel slayer. Okay, so that's that's these, you know. Okay, yeah, I ain't mad at this. I mean, for a you know something for a band that doesn't do doesn't do a lot of cooperation with too many folks, this is a pretty good looking unit. It is. Uh, I mean, I might start doing like some of these guys that customize, man. And, depleting FTP you know what I mean uh, let's toss this over here for now all right and here this one right here man this box uh came from my guy man he's a he's actually a super cool cat he's from a different club out of town but we know each other and I happen to uh I happened to bump into him on one of the groups I was like what's up man it's Roach from Lansing and, uh, he showed me some love on these flannels, man. They're uh, some decent flannels. And he actually threw this one right on top. He threw this in on the deal just for buying the other ones. They're not brand new, like I said. But, uh, I mean, this one might as well be. It's a tag and a bag shy of being brand new. The performance machine. You know, square pockets, pre-pleat. 
good looking flannel, you know, especially for something, you know, for my guy to just throw in on there with me. That's pretty, pretty cool of him, you know. And he did, he did admit two of the flannels that I'm going to be pulling out this box are pilled up. I mean, he wore them. We wear, we wear our flannels, man. I, uh, I don't hesitate to wear mine. I'm wearing the seller right now. I just copped this with the beeline what, a month or so ago or whenever they dropped that. Oh, I guess I could have gave a little more attention to this performance machine, huh? We pulled out the tag and then went to go away. Oh, the top button, or this top snap. This is another one with snaps. This has got white snaps. And uh, again, man, I think the snaps are pretty dope. I always, I always dig the snaps. Um, I'm gonna start having a breakout and the buttons just say performance machine. Again, these will be things that I will, uh, I will pull out uh, the uh, the pitcher and pitcher or whatever for y'all. And it's got the performance machine and the Dixon and the matching tag, man. I'll tell you what, maybe that's why none of these new pleat ones match because he made all the, everything was matching and looking good back in the day. You know what I mean? All these with the upper and lower tag matching, the buttons matching, design and tags. So that man, that's why I got such an affinity for these older ones. And uh, I know I'm not the only one that feels these and just feels like the material is just you know, superior to the stuff they're making these out of nowadays. Or maybe it's because they're, they've been just around and been touched and gotten fluffier and softer. Um, I mean, but it just, it just feels better. It's softer. It feels thicker. It is what it is. Performance machine. Next. Yep. Oh yeah. There's a little bit of peeling on this one, but it is not shot. I'll tell you what, man, I'm, uh, once I mess around, I gotta buy me a new shaver off the old interwebs. Get to shaving some of these bad boys. This one here is the Dark Horse. And uh, man, it's crazy for me because like the sleeves have got some pilling on them. And right here on the uh, under the pockets on the chest has got some pilling on it. But around the neck, as you know, I got wolf neck. So if mine do pill up, it'd be around here. Cause my, I don't know, it could have something to do with wearing this big obnoxious chain, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna do what I do and I should have definitely put my glasses on for this. I feel like an idiot right now. I'm going to have to edit in me putting on my glasses or something. That's it. I could be tripping. I think it just says Dixon Flannel Company. Matter of fact, it does. Don't get old, folks. You just go blind. Remember when your mama caught you and she said you keep doing that, you're going to go blind? I was like, no, I won't. I ain't going blind. I do it all the time. She said, I'm blind now, man. I don't know what happened. Something happened. They took my eyes. They took my eyes. Hey, but with the matching tags again, man. That's, bro, I wish all the new ones did, but I wish all the new ones were gray and black and white and everything was just everything. Another pre pleat. You're going to find that that's going to be a running trend the next couple of days other than the stuff I'm opening the rate from, from Dixon. And I am going to, while I, while I was complaining about my uh, chinos not coming, because I'm pretty confident that I ordered myself some in black and some in charcoal or charcoal and K, whichever ones, because two of them didn't have any 32s left in length and two of them did. And I ordered the two that did because 34 is a bit too long and 30 is just a bit too short. <sighs> so uh, I ordered that. Oh, and I did, this is just something else I got in the package deal. The uh, Another one of the, uh, actually I think this is a newer iteration of it than the one I opened the other day, God, come on, open man. Get out of there. Yeah. Matter of fact, what do these buttons say? These ones say Dixon Flannel Company. It has the anvil tag. I talked about I talked about the tags the other night, man. I talked about the differences in these tags. But I'll tell you what, the flannel. I, I did bring out the other one that I opened the other day. You know, the one with the because these are the murked out. These buttons do say murked out. These ones say Dixon Flannel Company. Well, I mean, it's very clearly the same shirt. I mean. This one is in much better condition. This one's like brand new, never worn, um, because it was, you know, brand new, never worn, pretty much. Whereas uh, this one here has seen some miles, and it'll see some more with me. I'll shave it up, get it nice one time, and I'll probably wear it to death. A little, little string there. Little, you know, we'll have to see. I'm gonna have to get the uh, shaver. Somebody should message me, man, or you don't even message me. Just comment out here. Tell me which one of these shavers I should get. I hear uh, the. 
Oh, I can't even think. I, I never remember nothing when I get on here. I need to get me a whiteboard or something to hang it up. I just, like I said, man, I just fly by the seat of my pants and ad lib this shit to death. But yeah, once again, murked out. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it because it's basically the exact same flannel I just showed y'all the other night with a little bit different tagging and a little bit different button. Ooh, I see what I bought this box for. It's coming up. Matter of fact, I did get one that's new in, or it's not new in the bag. He did pull it out and hang it, but he said he never wore it. Oh, uh, and it feels like it's never been worn. And this, you know, the Griswold, being a uh, shitter's full kind of guy. This is one of the, one of the, uh, this is one of my, one of my sought afters, you know, nothing like Clark. It looks wonderful, Clark, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and again, man, this is a more modern one. And the tags just, I mean, it does, down here it's yellow, but it goes with the scheme of the shirt. Up here it's green, but it goes with the scheme of the shirt. So, I mean, that's, uh, it just throws me off really bad when it's like, you know, a, a real dope shirt and then all of a sudden there's like a neon tag on it. Like, that just don't make no sense to me, man. I, I mean, I guess maybe it's because I'm getting old, maybe my style is different. This is a pleated, but it's the Griswold, man. I mean, come on, it's Christmas vacation, baby. We're gonna, uh, what's, the, what's the buttons on here talking about? Uh, this, oh, it, yep, see? Yeah, and we will picture and picture them bad boys. Yeah, Dixon Flannel Company, Griswold. Yeah, I've been wanting this one for a while, man, and I just never bought it because uh, people either want too much for it or if they don't want too much for it, it's shot. I mean, in this one, I mean, was the price point was right. I mean, granted, I did buy five, six. I mean, he threw me the one flannel, pretty much. The performance machine was a throw-in, so I, I'll give him credit there. This one here, though, is a really, really, uh, this one's dope, man. It's the uh, 1903. This is the 1903 with the, uh, uh, I think this is the anniversary, which would make it, what, 2018, I think, right in there, uh, with the heritage tag. See there. And the heritage tag. XL. And these heritage tags, um, I'm pretty sure these heritage tags, they still fit me, man, in an XL. Cause I am, I mean, I'm a little bit, little bit small for an XL, but, but a, a large is just a little too young on me. You know what I mean? It looks a little underage. So I gotta, I gotta get these XLs. But if I try to step into an XLT or step into a 2X, that is just not working for your guy, man. Again, with the matching tags, all these pre-pleats with the matching tags, orange, orange, and the buttons do the buttons are flexing I mean, and this is a, again man this one i don't even know if this guy wore this shirt man i don't know if my guy wore this shirt company you wear this let me know i don't think you did i think you just wore them gray ones and that's what you said so i'm just not used to people being honest man like i said in the, i don't know if i actually said it out loud or if i was just thinking it because you read all these ads and it's it's everybody's famous last words man never been worn just took it out the bag to try it on never been worn never been worn yeah and you get it and you're like peeling their cat off it and they got a puppy in the pocket and it's crazy man like these people you wore your damn you you wore the flannel man just just tell us you wore it knock five dollars off we'll shave it now this is the reason i bought this box and some of y'all might get geeks some of y'all might be like why why you even care um i mean the the crenshaw is one of my favorites the boulevard is one of my favorites and i'm gonna let you know right now that uh in that whole little era of things and whatnot um this is i, I believe this is re-release of those era you know whatever uh the imperial man this is just uh this is just a sick boy to me this is you know not the easiest to come by and this is in great shape man i figured he'd have wore this to death because it's you know right up our style alley <sighs> yeah this is cold peaks Again, you hear me talking about that mission like that. I don't know if you've ever seen. I don't know if I open a Crenshaw on video or not. I don't know if I. I, I don't know if I've showed y'all a Crenshaw or not. So uh, we'll get to it one of these days, sometime soon. And I am gonna show y'all these uh, chinos that my brother bought. We're gonna be, you know, we're gonna have a 15 minute video here. It's gonna be kind of dumb, but whatever. Here it is, man. Imperial. This is just another small one. Do the buttons say Imperial? No, they just say Dixon Flannel Company, old school style, with the matched match tags 
Let's see, bottom one got to match too? Absolutely. Yeah, it's just too sweet when they do that. What it, does the inside tag say something different back then? Because I know none of these pre-pleats, I don't know if I've mentioned that, that they do not have the uh, fancy Nancy glasses white. They don't have those. Um, let's see. I ain't going to be able to read it, man. I'm trying to, oh, wait, yeah, I can. Live fast, question authority, work hard, stay humble, wear Dixon. I mean, again, that's that's just what we do out here, man. We, we do all that. Uh, let me sneak under this. Of these got a couple things my brother got over here i don't know if i'm gonna do an opening for his stuff for y'all or uh just let him open his shoes when he gets home uh but yeah he uh he's a little he's a little smaller than me he got these 32 30s um he said that yeah these are 32 30s yeah he said them are gonna be a little too young on him because he tried on these 34s and everything was working and i'll tell you what i was curious if they were gonna feel the material is amazing so i'm gonna i'm hoping mine either show up or my drunk ass didn't hit order or what i'm gonna have to look in some of my shopping carts but i bought shoot i bought them since these dropped i bought them slayer flannels and i well, shouldn't be my uh my uh sutter should be showing up with the t-shirt that dropped that down i don't remember what it was called plus uh i don't know man so it is what it is i don't know the pants they they're stretchy they do <laughs> i'm pulling back up one more time they're not mine. I just really want to show mine off when they come. The Dixon Deflex Waistband, and I'll tell you what, they flex. They they appear to be, I did squeeze into these. I should show y'all like, like Danny B showing y'all in his girls' bathing suits and whatnot, but I ain't finna do it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wait till I get a pair that fit me because y'all will uh, be able to tell my religion if you see me in these, squeezing my pieces. Um, but yeah, the little stash pocket on the side is super cool. It's a little more conspicuous than the stash pockets, you know, inside the, you know where they are, if you know where they are. But yeah, these are a, a nice Chino. I actually work in an office setting by day. <laughs> and uh, these are gonna be in my future, absolutely. I'm gonna buy myself some 36s and some 38s, see which size is gonna be the move. And once I figure that out, man, uh, probably get a little bit, probably buy a couple in every color. And I'm sure he'll drop some more, a couple more colors, like a darker blue and a lighter blue. Um, Cause what's it, what they make black, charcoal, khaki and navy right now. I mean, I could see him coming out with some olive, some brown, um, you know, true Dixon fashion. It's selling, <laughs> make more. That's what I would do. Dope sells itself. All right, y'all, big Wadovsky out here.